Y Combinator is an American seed accelerator, started in March 2005. Y Combinator has spawned a number of highly successful companies and is consistently ranked at the top of U.S. accelerators. Topic. Programs In its main program, Y Combinator interviews and selects two batches of companies per year. The companies receive seed money, advice, and connections in exchange for 7% equity. The program includes office hours, where startup founders meet individually and in groups with Y Combinator partners for advice. Founders also participate in weekly dinners where guests from the Silicon Valley ecosystem successful entrepreneurs, venture capitalists, etc. speak to the founders. Y Combinator's motto is, Make something people want. The program aims to focus the founders on further developing their product, team and market, refining their business model, achieving product, market fit, and scaling the startup into a high-growth business, etc. The program culminates at Demo Day where startups present their business to a selected audience of investors. As of 2017, Y Combinator had invested in approximately 1,450 companies including Dropbox, Airbnb, Stripe, Reddit, Optimizely, Zenefits, Docker, DoorDash, Mixpanel, Heroku. The combined valuation of YC companies was over $80 billion. Nonprofit organizations can also participate in the main YC program. In 2015, YC introduced additional programs. In July 2015, Y Combinator introduced the YC Fellowship Program aimed at companies at an earlier stage than the main program. In October 2015, Y Combinator introduced the YC Continuity Fund. The fund allows Y Combinator to make pro rata investments in their alumni companies with valuations under $300 million. Y Combinator will also consider leading or participating in later stage growth financing rounds for YC companies. In October 2015, YC introduced YC Research to fund long-term fundamental research. YC President Sam Altman donated $10 million. Topic: History. Y Combinator was started in 2005 by Paul Graham, Jessica Livingston, Trevor Blackwell, and Robert Tappan Morris. From 2005 to 2008, one program was held in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and one was held in Mountain View, California. In January 2009, Y Combinator announced that the Cambridge program would be closed and all future programs would take place in Silicon Valley. In 2009, Sequoia Capital led the $2 million investment round into an entity of Y Combinator, which would allow the company to invest in approximately 60 companies a year as opposed to their previous 40 companies a year. The following year, Sequoia led a $8.25 million funding round for Y Combinator to further increase the number of startups the company could fund. Then, in 2011, Yuri Milner and SV Angel offered every Y Combinator company a $150,000 convertible note investment. The amount put into each company was changed to $80,000 when Start Fund was renewed. In September 2013, Paul Graham announced Y Combinator would fund nonprofit organizations accepted into its program after having tested the concept with WhatC while continuing to fund mostly for profit startups. In 2014, founder Paul Graham announced he was stepping down and that Sam Altman would take over as president of Y Combinator. That same year, Altman announced the New Deal for YC Startups, which offers $120,000 for 7% equity. Late in 2014, Sam Altman announced a partnership with Transcriptic to provide increased support for Y Combinator's growing community of biotech companies. 
Then in 2015, he announced a partnership with Bolt and increased support for hardware companies. On the 11th of August 2016, YC announced that YC Partners will be visiting 11 countries this fall to meet with founders and learn more about how they can be helpful to international startup communities. These 11 countries are Nigeria, Denmark, Portugal, Sweden, Germany, Russia, Argentina, Chile, Mexico, Israel, and India. In September 2016, Y Combinator announced shuffling the deck at the Mountain View Startup Accelerator again, with Altman announcing that he will now be president of YC Group, which includes Y Combinator, the YC Continuity Fund that was launched last October, and the YC Research Moonshot program. Ali Rogani, Twitter's former chief financial officer and chief operating officer who was put in charge of the YC Continuity Fund when it started, is now CEO of YC Continuity. Michael Sabel, who co-founded Justin.tv, is the new CEO of YC Core, the program that Paul Buchheit has run since earlier this year. Topic. Top companies Starting in October 2018, Y Combinator publishes a list of its top 100 companies by valuation. Topic. Major competitors 500 startups Techstars Mashallenge Topic People Y Combinator was founded in March 2005 by Paul Graham and Jessica Livingston as well as Robert Morris and Trevor Blackwell with whom Paul had previously co-founded ViaWeb in early 2010, Harj Tagger, co-founder of Y Combinator funded Automatic, joined as an advisor. In September 2010, Alexis Ohanian, co-founder of Y Combinator backed Reddit, joined. In November 2010, Gmail creator Paul Buchheit and Harj Tagger were named partners. In 2015, Tagger left YC to start TripleByte, a startup aiming to assist companies with their technical hiring needs. In January 2011, Y Combinator backed Postrous co founder Gary Tan joined YC, first as designer in residence and later as partner. Later in 2011, Aaron Eber joined as a partner. In the summer of 2014, Sam Altman became president of Y Combinator. Y Combinator also announced a board of overseers, Brian. Brian Chesky, co-founder of Airbnb, Adora Chung, co-founder of Homejoy, Patrick Collison, co-founder of Stripe, Drew Houston, founder of Dropbox, Jessica Livingston, David Rusenko, Emmett Shear, and Sam Altman, co-founder of Looped. In January 2015, it was announced that Paul Buchheit would be named managing partner for Y Combinator's core program and Kevin Hale would be the managing partner for the fellowship. As of February 2015, additional Y Combinator partners are Dalton Caldwell, founder of iMeme and App.net, Jared Friedman, founder of Scribd, Kevin Hale, co founder of Wufu, Aaron Harris, co founder of Tutorsbury, Justin Kahn, co founder of Exec, Twitch.tv, and Justin. Justin.tv, attorneys Carolyn Levy and John Levy, Kat Manilak, Kirsty Nathu, Jeff Ralston, creator of Rocket Mail, and Michael Sabel, co-founder of Socialcam. Ali Rogani is the managing partner of YC Continuity. Topic. Controversies Y Combinator has been blamed for its encouragement of the ageism culture in Silicon Valley. Paul Graham said in 2005 that people over 38 lacked the energy to launch startups. It was also at a Y Combinator event, the 2007 Startup School, that Mark Zuckerberg said, Young people are just smarter. The organization has been similarly criticized for reflecting the culture of sexism in the tech industry. Topic: Nonprofits. 
In 2013, Y Combinator began accepting non-profit organizations. Notable Y Combinator-backed non-profits include what C crowdfunding medical treatment in developing countries Zadisha direct person to person lending to developing countries topic YC fellowship The YC Fellowship Program was announced in July 2015 with the goal of funding companies at the idea or prototype stage the first batch of YC Fellowship included 32 companies that received an equity free grant instead of an investment. In January 2016, Y Combinator announced version 2 of the program, with participating companies receiving $20,000 investment for a 1.5% equity stake. The equity stake is structured as a convertible security that only converts into shares if a company has an IPO, or a funding event or acquisition that values the company at $100 million or more. The YC Fellowship was short-lived, however, as in September 2016 then-CEO Sam Altman announced that the fellowship will be discontinued. In 2017, Y Combinator announced Startup School, an online course that released public videos and also coached individual startups on a larger scale to replace the fellowship. 1584 startups graduated the program in its first year. In 2018, Y Combinator announced a new batch of Startup School. After a software glitch, all 15,000 startups that applied to the program were accepted, only to learn a few hours later that they had been rejected. <laughs> YC Research Nonprofit Research Lab YC Research was announced in October 2015. Researchers are paid as full-time employees and can receive equity in Y Combinator. OpenEye was the first project undertaken by YC Research, and in January 2016 a second study on basic income was also announced. Another project is research on new cities. Topic: <laughs> Human Advancement Research Community. The Human Advancement Research Community HARC project was set up with the mission to ensure human wisdom exceeds human power. The project was inspired by a conversation between Sam Altman and Alan Kay. Its projects include modeling, visualizing and teaching software, as well as programming languages. Its members include Alan Kay and Brett Victor. Other people who have worked for HARC include Vi Hart. Patrick Scalia was chair of HARC and was listed as an advisor in 2017. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Media coverage. In 2017, Forbes ranked YC one of two Platinum Plus tier US accelerators. Fast Company has called YC the world's most powerful startup incubator. Fortune has called Y Combinator a spawning ground for emerging tech giants. Topic. See also. Hacker News. List of Y Combinator startups.